know, when we are not focusing on Christ, we tend to focus on carnal things. Welcome to today's DDRX. The prescription is check your choices. Deuteronomy 30 verse 19, I call heaven and earth as witnesses today against you that have said before you life and death, blessing and cursing. Therefore, choose life that both you and your descendant may live. We want to look at Moses and Miriam, communion versus complaint. Moses was a leader that led the Israelites out of the grip of Pharaoh, Egypt. He never compromised his commitment and deep communion to God. He wrote the first five books of the Bible. Through him, the Ten Commandments were also given and written. Miriam was Moses' elder sister. In fact, Moses' choice of a wife gave Miriam an opportunity to criticize Moses. She complained about Moses marrying an Ethiopian woman. The real issue there was her jealousy of Moses' position and influence. You know, when we are not focusing on Christ, we tend to focus on carnal things. When we are not in deep communion with God, we use the carnal lens of natural wisdom and we often criticize others. You know, God's answer to Miriam showed the level of deep communion Moses enjoyed with God. In Numbers 12, 6 to 8, God said, Then he said, Hear now my words. If there is a prophet among you, I, the Lord, make myself known to him in a vision. I speak to him in a dream. Not so with my servant Moses. He is faithful in all my house. I speak with him face to face, even plainly, and not in dark sayings. And he sees the form of the Lord. Why then were you not afraid to speak against my servant Moses? You know, we can choose a life of discipline, a life of devotion and deep communion. We can choose to know God better. In Daniel 11:32, those who do wickedly against the covenant, it shall quarrel with flattery. But the people who know their God shall be strong and carry out exploit. So you have a choice, you know, to choose deep communion, you know, to choose to know God better. You know, you too can be like Paul, who said that I may know him. Even having written so many epistles, Paul still wanted to know God. Thank you.